I think for an artistic, the artistic soul of the company depends also on creativity. Um, the, just the interpretation of works and, and reviving is good, it's interesting and we, do, um, we, we can introduce a large audience to a repertory. However, the company itself also needs to challenge itself to move forward, to develop itself artistically, to stretch its own boundaries in order to not to lose that creative instinct. So doing something like Salome, creating a new set for that, energizes the whole company. And that, of course, jumps over the footlights and I think infuses our audience. There are many operas which you see, obviously, very historically. Um, correct. You see productions which are more mythical. Um, and I certainly when you approach a director and a design team and you're talking about a work, you have clearly in your mind, is this a piece that's a fantasy piece or is it a piece that we want to have a sort of historical accuracy? So there's a general framework which is inside my mind. But of course the excitement is then going and seeing the development of those ideas by a creative team, director and designer, and just seeing the road that they've gone down in interpreting the work. I think that was last season so fascinating for me going to the studio of uh, Tom Moore and Francis Bagley and seeing how they'd taken certain ideas, developed them, turned them into their own and made them a truly creative artistic, made it a to totally creative artistic process.